What is going on guys, it's Ben here, bringing you another Vainglory video, playing with Wadi X right now, trying to get you guys a Weapon Power Black Feather video, um, there is, you guys, a lot of a lot of you guys seem to discount that CP is actually really, really strong, uh, they're just kind of two different play styles, they're both very good, uh, like, CP, you pretty much just focus around your B, poke damage, because it is insane, like, it is crazy once you get like a Shatter Glass, just poke with that B ability over and over again, but, uh, if Weapon Power... You go for attack speed, try and get those heart throb stacks for those hearts that you see above the enemy when you actually get them. And then once you get like five stacks, oh god. Once you get like five stacks and you, um. I'm just gonna go. Turret's taking shots at everyone! I'll for sure try my best. <laughs> okay, but yeah, so weapon power, when you get your heartthrob stacks, it's gonna be hard to pressure this if I have to deal with this in the lane, but you can see that one heart on him. Um, if you get like five, four of them, four hearts will break around their body, and then if you use your A ability, which is Faint of Heart, and pop it, it does an insane amount of damage. So that's uh, if you go Weapon Power, it's a lot easier to achieve that because of your if you get Attack Speed, you know the numerous other factors. Uh, but this is annoying, dude. Oh my gosh. There we go, we'll go kill him. Nice. Thank you. And uh, another thing I want to mention though. Oh god. <laughs> Is that... That's what I'm trying to say, like... Whether I'm going CP or Weapon Power, I, I do prefer to overdrive my first ability and my second ability always. Because if you overdrive your first ability, you get that poke, and that either helps you get more stacks, it's just like, it's it's a win-win pretty much. And then as first ability, if you kill something, you get to use it instantly again, and that ability is so, so, oh, so strong. And the ultimate, really all you do is reduce like cooldown and a little bit more damage. So I think the benefits, honestly, are, oh man. Are they trying to poop strap me here? Sure what it feels like. How to attack him? Jesus Christ. That's one thing with Black Feather, like, I don't... I don't quite understand these stutter steps. Well, I, I understand them, but they're just awkward. And you guys should go up to the turret, because otherwise it's probably going to go down. He's already got a storm guard. They're doing, this is like the new poop strat that everyone's freaking doing. It's really annoying. Double lane, get with the saw, and just push. And I'm not really a fan of it. To be honest, but... Hey, let's see if we can beat it today. So uh, I've, I've seen quite a bit of like quite a few matches where this has gone sour, where it's actually worked quite a bit. It's a good thing we didn't lose our turret. I need to get some attack speed, man. So he doesn't quite have his tension bow yet. And I don't have. Once I get level six, it'll be fine. Oh god, I missed. He's gonna rain down on me, dude. 
Saw suppressing fire, any moment here. I really need to get my level 6 so I have some sort of escape. Uh, this is going to be a nightmare. My goodness, dude. This is so rough. Coat of plates, boots, our turret's going down. I can already feel it. It's got the storm guard. There's no way they can't make it in time. God, this is this strategy. I know some of you probably have the same, know the same strategy. Like you probably faced this many times. Uh, it's it's similar to the poop. It feels like the poop strat, and it's just really freaking annoying. Oh, she's dead. I'll be able to run away 100%. I got my first ability or my ultimate. If I need to jump through walls, I can definitely do it. Gold mine is almost full. I kind of just killed secure that. Sorry, Kashka. Yeah, let's go get that Ringo. Now that I have some attack speed, I can actually do something. And the enemies are here. Pop that heartthrob on there, there we go. So this is rough. I'm getting a barbed needle, so if I kill the minions, like I get some health back, because it's like 85 per 85 health if you actually kill it with your melee. I'm pretty sure. So this is gonna be rough, though. Ugh. I need my I need to get level eight too. That'll help quite a bit. The reason for that, simply because I can uh, poke a little bit better. I know Ringo was in our jungle. Kashka barely got out. You can see the amount of poke damage there, not the poke damage when we get those heartthrob stacks. That's how devastating we can be. Let's go get that saw now, dude. Very nice. Uh, Wadi's getting the backs. He's doing a good job of that. We'll go support him now. We're coming. We're coming. Yeah, we can't really turret dive at this point in time. It hurts. So 
So I'm kind of at a loss. I don't know what I want to protect. Our turret? Kill the software overextending by himself. This can probably hear that gameplay too. Sorry about that. Damn, he hurts, dude. So I finally got something. Sorrow Blade. Ringo is pushing that turret pretty hard, but I think I should be able to kill him before he's able to do major damage to it. Not both of them. Definitely not both of them. So that's the downside of this, like, so retarded. You leave the lane, you're done. Your turret goes down because of this. It's okay, we got the immense payout. If we keep getting fed the way we are, because look at their farm. Something spectacular, Arkoski is getting pre-fed, so, and then we get the gold payouts. We just keep this up. We should be able to turn this around because that saw will fall off. It'd be a lot harder for them late game to get all these turrets, man. I just need to get a shiver steel. Oh, get a dragon heart. Get some boots. Wadi going for the back. Some coming. Look at this Ringo, dude. That barb needle will get some of my health back, at least. <sighs> this is a nightmare, dude. Diving that was a smart idea. No, Briz is dead. It's alright. So I have a ton of gold. Uh, I don't know what to get, guys. Definitely getting that metal jacket because I am melting towards that saw. And I can't, this is just a really odd game. <laughs> just, just to be frank with you guys, you can see the damages that I can do. 
I think it's starting to turn in our favor because they can't really push as well as they did early game. Um, so we just gotta stick as a team. We got the immense payouts all around, so this is good. And I'm mainly dying to the Saw and that Ringo, so we just need to stay alive. Or I just need to stay alive, so I got that metal jacket. Taking our farm because I can, and I wanna go get this Ringo dude. Seems to be just. Okay, he backed off. I was gonna say, he seems to be just focusing on that farm too. Take that, there we go. I can get a Shiver Steel, but I don't know if I'm actually gonna get the Shiver Steel. What I think I'm gonna get is the Shiver Steel. <laughs> We just need to group up. Okay, so they're all right here. Most unfortunate, that Kashka keeps dying so quick. Why doesn't she have any defense, really? Surprised. Alright, so there we go. You can see the damages once we get our full stacks. Pretty good. Ring goes down there. They can kill him, nice. Fox is up in there. I'm gonna go clear the lane. Your team captured one of two minion mines. Allied minions are now stronger. The reason why I'm just clearing lane, I'm pretty sure they can take that by themselves. Very easily. want to make them think that we're getting the Kraken. Okay, he's got three heartthrob stacks on this. Watch this. Oh, he's got four. Boom! I keep forgetting to use my Shiver Steel too. It's pretty sad actually. Boom! Not bad. So, if I was using my shiver still properly, it would have been a lot easier to get those kills. But either way, if you get those heartthrob stacks and then you use your A ability, guys, you can push really hard. I know this isn't like the best kind of video to show. It's not like a real intense one, but they're trying to do like the little poopy strat where everyone just pushes, man. And I see a lot of people doing it, not gonna lie right now. And it's really annoying. My infusion did around. I have like 3k gold, dude. We're just gonna try and push for win. I'm sick of this. But I held him up just enough so our, could, our jungle could like do a ton. Or not do a ton, but like keep stealing the farm. Yeah, I'm out. I'm out. It's okay, we had an amazing push right there. Almost a freaking 4k gold, dude. Four thousand gold, dude. Oh my god. Alright, let's get my items that I actually want. 
Serpent's Mask? I don't know, we'll try it out. Normally I just go crit build, but... Whatevs. I hope you are okay, Kashka. Christ, that's not good. I don't know why she was extended so far there, man. Am I getting ulted? I think I might be. Okay, whew. How long before she's up? 10 seconds. If we can fend them, off, uh, fend them off for 10 seconds, this is gonna be like one of their final pushes. That really hurt us. That really, really hurt us. Uh, okay, she's up right now though. Uh, I think we have the upper hand in fights. To be brutally honest, so. Coming, Wadi. We're coming. Damn. I misclicked. This is gonna be rough, dude. Kraken, dude. The only thing I can really buy right now is Journey Boots. So... Yeah. Oh god. Oh god. I'm trying to do... Oh, shoot. How does Brizzy get so weak? Can Wadi end this? Can he clutch it up? Yes, he clutched it up. Yeah. I don't think he can burn the turret down though. I know he has Storm Guard. He has double infuse. He does have Aftershock. We shall see. Will he be able to burn it down? He's got 24 seconds. Fifteen seconds. Oh god, it's close. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Okay, nice. <laughs> oh, that was a good play by him. So, GG's. What he did was awesome support there. Kasha just ca got caught out a little bit there at the end there, and that, that was making me worried, but. The poop strat didn't prevail for them. Uh, they didn't really have a support. That was kind of their downside. It was like saw support kind of with like the box. But either way, you guys can kind of get the sense of how the build works. It's more of like you do get those five heart drop stacks, use your A ability, do a ton of damage, and then your ultimate applies is like more basic attacks. So weapon power is definitely very strong. It's not typically my playstyle, I prefer the I prefer the uh, crystal power more for that poke damage. That's just my personal preference so I don't know I hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure you like if you did and if you subscribe for more Bangalore videos if not already and I hope you guys have a wonderful night and I'll see you guys later